Hey everybody, this is Corey from Aquarium Co-op doing the fish highlight series. And today we're going to talk about the Neon Tetra. This is the first video I'm doing. It seems appropriate to do Neon Tetras because I think everyone pretty much knows what a Neon Tetra is or they've at least seen one in their life. And uh, so yeah, they're just a, a blue and red fish. And they stay small, they get about two inches. They make a great community fish, very laid back, very peaceful. They also like to be in a school, as we can see here. There's a big school of fish. Uh, the recommended minimum, absolute bare minimum, is six. Uh, they do much better in bigger groups. Uh, so if you can, try and start out with more. Uh, a lot of people like to build these schools up over time. They keep just adding to them. Uh, so yeah, you can kind of see their behavior here, how they're schooling back and forth. They come from uh, South American regions, blackwater biotopes, stuff like that, but you don't really see wild caught neon tetras anymore. They've become so popular that there's lots that are just captive raised, and you'd be hard pressed to find wild caught ones this day and age. They're pretty much all tank raised. Uh, but yeah, so let's see if I can get them to do some schooling action here by putting my hand at the end of the tank. You can kind of see here how they, they all move together and strength in numbers. So yeah, if you're looking for a basic schooling fish that's cheap, you know right now they're a dollar, a uh, dollar a piece, that's usually my standard price, and uh, they make a great, great addition to most aquariums. So check them out. Talk to you guys later. Bye.